I can't take credit for this circuit. This was a circuit that was uh, given as an assignment in school. Uh, I'm in my third semester for electronics at uh, Conestoga College right now. Uh, I put this together just for fun. Uh, if my bass amp ever goes on the fritz, what I can do is I can take any kind of speakers. This isn't plugged in right now. Uh, I can use my my uh, variable DC power supply and uh, this audio amplifier circuit <clears throat> to uh, to play my bass. So I was I never really had much intention to use this after I had built it, but I figured it'd be kind of fun to make a video of of this makeshift uh, bass amp. Now. This is the uh, this cord right here is broken internally. That one of the two channels isn't uh, one of the two cords isn't giving off uh, the signal from the bass guitar to the amplifier. So only one only one uh, channel is working. It's not going to sound great. It's a poor substitute for a, a good bass amp. These speakers aren't designed to uh, you know for really low frequencies. The ones that my ba the one that my bass is going to give off. So I'll just uh, I'll just show you what I can do. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, it doesn't sound very nice. It's not very loud. I can turn it also up and down with the, with my bass with my bass itself. But you really don't. You really can hear the quality difference than that of, of a, a normal bass amp. I can also turn the power up here, up and down here, which will uh, saturate the voltage at the main amplifier chip, which means that uh, I can only I will only be able to turn it up to a certain point. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, it's a neat little circuit. It's pretty simple, but uh, yeah, this is my audio amplifier circuit. I'll add it to my collection. Thanks.